Well, the thing about women. Yeah, tell us all about women. Being a trad wife would be fun. I take it back. This is already getting annoying. Black gays are more gay than white gays. Wallahi. Yeah. Well, Welcome in, baby. <laughs> it's another episode of the A Raps podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we have a big show for you today. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about oh, this lady saying the N word, and then we're gonna talk about. Well, we know what we're gonna talk about. Because, <laughs> because we, we just we filmed. 30, we just talked about it. We filmed thirty minutes of an episode. Yeah, and, <laughs> we set the timer. Did you, did you? Okay, and cool. Raf forgot to hit record. Yeah, it happens. happens when we don't have our producer here to do You're going to love this episode. I've already seen it. I've already <laughs> done it. <laughs> Scootish went home because it's Father's Day today. Yeah. We're filming on a Sunday. Yeah. Um, and then you missed Capri complaining about how, how we're... <laughs> never mind. I'm not going to get into how it. How we're filming on a Sunday. And how okay, I'm already upset. We're filming on Father's Day, which I want to spend time with my dad. And my dad's like, hey, come over. And then we're filming this. And then we record half the episode. I'm like, hey, I'm running late. And then now we have to record it again. Question. We recorded 10 minutes. He texted us at, I want to say, 11. My dad said, come over right now. Yeah. My dad left. He's... Air Frogan, you act like my dad is a white man. My dad is Arab. He is Arab. Dude, he literally says, come over right now. I go, where are you? He goes, LAX. Yeah. You act like this is my Why fault. Why was he at LAX? But my mom uh, went to, to Texas. My no, uncle, your mom's your my, mom's here? My mom's here now. My uncle is not doing well. Oh, oh. your mom is here. My mom went oh, to yeah, visit she, her. She told me she needs to give me the tea. She never did. <laughs> He's just not doing well. So anyways, she went to Texas and uh, she got people took photos of her. Uh, do you know uh, she saw uh, Absorber? Absorbert or the guy who does uh who he does the TikToks where he talks to the to the kids in Israel and they say like I'm Israel I'm Israel and then they like and then he goes like free Palestine he he does the El Megal TikToks he has like okay. 20 million followers or yeah she saw him at a protest there she went to a protest oh cool yeah it was crazy <coughs> people were just taking photos of her she said that the, she thinks people recognized her but my mom my mom's she's got a hundred thousand on TikTok she's yeah like she's you. famous. It's famous. Thinking people recognize her. <laughs> That's really mean. That's where you get it from. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be honest? What? My mom is more famous than you. There's yeah, she is. Thousand. She is. Who's here? She is. She's more famous. Who's here? Someone's it here. It doesn't matter. Okay, but but anyways, um, for, uh, we're doing our favorite memories with our fathers. Yeah. So, I love my dad, and I have so many good memories with him. To the point where I had to text my sisters and ask, what's a, what's a good... <laughs> so I texted my sisters uh, asking what a good memory of dad is. Yeah. And my sister said, him beating up the guy before the bakery at... I mean, before school at the bakery. Which I thought it was hilarious, but they were very, very... Yeah, the you you said my favorite memories of my dad were oh when he told me to himself. No, he didn't. No, when he, he my mom he was like I hope you die. And then when the, yeah we asked you hold like on. what are your fathers? favorite memories? Oh, when he told me when he said that I I get younger because I don't give a shit. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I know the all perfect the memories. What is this? No, all the memories that you gave us were insane. Hold on, who are we calling? Hey, mom. <laughs> we're filming the podcast right now. All right. So as you know, it's Father's Day, and I'm trying to think of a good memory of dad. And we said good luck. So can you think? And I asked Aya. She said him beating up the guy at the bakery before school. But I feel like, <laughs> I feel like there are better ones. I don't even know. You forget he always beat up the guy at the monorail in Disney World because he bumped into him. So your dad. So these are all not the memories you have of your memories. dad is just him using his fists. These are yeah, not. He's a good. lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> Any happy ones? It's your memory with your it's dad. It's your, your memories. Your moms. What the fuck is your mom's memories? I haven't talked to him in a long time. You don't remember anything from when you were a kid? Do you really want to? No. Do you really want to publicly announce that you have daddy issues? Right, Morgan. Yeah, right. She's you thinking about it. She has daddy me. issues. Oh, my God. You what is some kind of a memory. What is this face she's making right now? Are you thinking? All right, love you, bye. 
Thank you. Okay. Bleep that. I'll be back. Because you're not helping. <laughs> how, how, how can I help you with your memory? Because that was your man. Frogan, I'm going to be honest. This is insane. I don't need to call someone to have a memory with my dad. Yeah, I have them all the wild. time. This is insane. Jeez. That's kind of wild. You, you think this is normal? Therapy time. Therapy time. It's not therapy. I, I genuinely don't remember any like fucking thing. It's okay. crazy because this, okay. this, this is your is, this is your this is your thing. This is your idea. Because Happy Father's guys, Day. Because you guys keep delving in there. Like, no, that's not a good one. That's not a good one. So you're not good one. memories. Did you, you ever play a board game with your dad or Did have you a ever good go time? to the movies with your dad? Oh, the Tekken story. That's a good memory. Thank you. Okay. Okay. That's what we were so, waiting for. Okay. So whenever I was younger, I used to love playing video games. Yes. Okay. Um, and one of my favorite video games ever was Tekken Three. Okay. okay. But of course, I was like four years old. I couldn't beat it. So my dad would beat. Tekken for me in its entirety. Okay. So I had all the characters unlocked. There you that's go. A, that's, that's a, a great sweet memory. memory. Yeah. It's a great story. Okay, now you I go, don't have to, I don't have to beat up Capri again. Even though it was a great bit. It was a good bit. Let me put that on the Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, okay, don't tell say your it to story me again. Tell your story. Uh, I have a lot of great memories of my dad. There's a lot of the fishing trips that we did, just like going out on a boat. Usually on Father's Day, we would go rent a like a charter boat. Yeah, and then we would go. We would go fish with him, and it was a good day with all of us. I like. I loved those memories. Now he owns a boat, so that we just do that when That's I get go over. Hell yeah! Um, my think one of my favorite memories. It was me and my dad. We went to go see Spider Man, the first one with Tobey Maguire when it first came out. Yeah, I wore a tuxedo. I don't know why. I wore a suit. <laughs> I was a little child, and I wore a suit. Nobody told me not to wear a suit, but I wore a suit, oh. and then I cried in that movie. Like out of happiness or just like it was a sad movie. Oh. Can I be honest? Peter Parker, like his like like Green Goblin dies. Like it's not good. It's not it's not good. Mm. And he's a nerd. You got bullied it. You got bullied as a kid, right? Yeah. You you fucking deserved it. I d they didn't know I wore a suit. <laughs> Why would you wear a suit to a movie? Why would I cry? Why would <laughs> I had the suit. I had the suit. But it was a nice memory. My dad would take, we would go to movies sometimes, me and my dad when I was younger, which is crazy considering he can't hear a fucking thing. So he's just watching the screen move. Is, don't they have subtitles? Back in, back when I was like 10? No. They have, they have subtitles? No, they didn't have subtitles. They don't have movie, deaf movies? In movie theaters? They don't have deaf movies? No, dude. They have, what do you mean deaf movies? Deaf movies. What does that mean? No, well, what does it mean? Movies for the like deaf. Like movies for the deaf made by deaf people? Yeah. No, subtitles. Not in a movie theater. Now they do. Do they have subtitle movies? Now they do. What if your dad just learned Spanish and did like this, the Spanish subtitle movies? They have those everywhere. They don't have those in movie theaters. They have them everywhere. I swear to God. Dude, no, they don't. Yes, they do. They have Spanish Brother, subtitle movies. Brother, when's the movies. last time? When, when's the first time you went to a movie theater? We watched a movie with Spanish subtitles. We watched that. Ah! Yeah, we did watch it with Spanish subtitles. But that's now. I'm ah! talking about back when I was 10 years old. They didn't have that technology. And then when they started making the technology for it, it was like a little thing you put in your cup holder and it had a screen right here oh, that just said bullshit. what it said. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I know deaf people had uh, deaf people had uh, FaceTime long before anyone else did. Yeah, they did. They had they had like the beta version of it. Yeah, whatever. they had the FaceTime. Cause well, I, for the phones, they had something Because when I saw, my, I had a, when I was in ASL class, my teacher had FaceTime. I was like, what the fuck is that? He's like, this is how we talk. Yeah. But he did it like, he, he told me like, this is how we talk. He did it with the signs. I forgot how What's to do it. What's your favorite memory of your dad? Uh, my favorite memory of my dad, I have a lot of favorite memories. I think my favorite memory, I told a different one on the first episode of this. You episode. have another one? Yeah. Let's hear it. I think one of the funniest memories I ever have of my dad is when he got on a boat that with, we went on a cruise, which yeah. was a very fun. Keep going. The fuck? We Keep went going. on a cruise, which is a very fun time. And Bo Bobby gets on the boat that takes us from the shore of Mexico to the boat. And he gets on with a cigar fully lit. In a small quarters boat that's like the size of like, I mean, you can barely breathe. And everyone is mad at him and he's just smoking a cigar and he's like, ah, fuck you. On this boat and everyone is just staring at him and he had not a care in the world. I swear, it's the most insane memory I've ever had of my dad, but that is my dad. You know? We love Bobby. He does that stuff. I mean, I have too many. I have a, a lot of good uh, favorite memories. I mean, like. I think one of my favorite memories is me and my dad went and saw The Matrix and my mom and we got out. My mom's like, I hated that movie. It's awful. And your dad was like, My dad's Shut like, up. you did not understand it. You did not get the matrix. It's inside of all of us. The matrix is something that you are plugging into and then everybody is plugging out of. And then when you get out of the matrix, you can have sex, but inside it's fake. When I was little, my parents took me to watch Meet the Fockers with them. 
Great the, movie. Meet the fuckers. I love them. I love the meet the fuckers. I was definitely way too fucking gay to get that theater. <laughs> Was he gay the whole time? He, his name was Gay Lord <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> well, okay, good movie. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going home this week. Going home tonight, actually. I'm excited. Excited? Yeah. I'm really excited. What's the first thing you're going to do when you land? Um, Find a ride? Call an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I didn't notice last time we, thought we talked? What? That you got a new mic thing. Thank God. I just got it today. She just got it today. Thank God. I know. I said the same thing. She still like push, pushes it right her against last, her lips, though. Her, her last mic looked like. Have you ever noticed at Disneyland when you go down the Disney Road? Careful. Uh, what do you mean careful? Careful what? Be careful. Let's hear it. Okay. When you go down the road. When you go down the road at Disneyland, uh, they they paint they repaint uh Main Street every yeah. night. Yeah. And then so that's a real thing. Disneyland repaints Main Street every night, so everyone has the exact same experience in the morning. That's crazy. That's insane. That's what they do. So every single night they go through and they'll touch up any damage or like they repaint every night. But you can notice it if you go and look at some of the stuff, they'll be like caked on layers of paint. Mm -hmm. Some of it, not all of it. They're pretty good. Your microphone started to look like that Disneyland paint. It was like caked on layers of lipstick. Yeah. 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 From like years of use. And the thing is, I just got that. It was like super crusty. Like yeah, I didn't it, was, get it. it was gross. Um, but yeah, I got this one off Amazon for 10 bucks. That's not bad. Oh, for 10 bucks off Amazon? Yeah, it's Are, pretty good too. That one's not bad at all. I'm not going to touch it. You know that. I know. <laughs> as soon as I picked it up, I realized I was like, this is because I couldn't touch it. No, but yeah, 10 bucks. That's not bad. The only thing I'm sad about is the fact that it's light pink and not hot pink, but we'll live. We'll fucking live. Um, Did you guys know about this girl who said the N word before this or no? That was a solid transition. That was a good, yeah, I don't know. Frog gets so mad at my transition. Yeah. Brogan, number one, I have no voice this week. Number two, we've recorded this twice. Good, I did I'm a glad you shut the fuck up finally. I did a subathon and you I You did a subathon where you weren't on camera for most of the time. So where did that voice go? Unlike you, sweetie, I'm an entertainer, so I'm very loud because I entertain slay. Did I do it? Good slay. Oh, that was a good slay. Good slay. Uh no, there's a thing going on on TikTok right around. What, no, what I want to show. Shit? I genuinely like. I'm genuinely think you guys would be interested in this. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm I in. genuinely. I know Frogan is like she wants to talk about herself for the next fucking forty five thousand hours. Well, where'd that fucking come from? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jesus, why are you mad, Frogan? <laughs> why are you mad? Well, we're gonna stop asking that question. Yeah, we're done asking that. Okay, question. fine. But you know why, and My, everyone here, you all know why too. Why they all know, everyone knows. What did I do? I did a transition. You you know what? You do the transitions from now on. Transition. One of my good friends started watching the podcast, and he said that you have really good transitions. I have really good transitions? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you do it? It's fine. You already did it. Go ahead. Do your thing. Yeah, go ahead. Say a slur. Just like this woman did on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Where, so what is this? Talk to me. I, dude, I don't know who this person is, okay? Okay. But every time I see this, I'm like, we need to be better about this shit. Like, we ge like genuinely, as a public service, we need to be better. People grift, and all they have to do to, like, get famous now is just say slurs. Yeah. And then people just like, oh, my God, this, do you see this, this white girl? She said the N-word. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, we just need to block these people. Like, I don't understand. So I guess this, this lady was a traditional wife. You know, she's, like, young. She's like, oh, you know, I live in the traditional world. And then she goes on one of her things and talks about how all of her friends are dating broke ass bitches, broke okay. ass n words. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, what's up with that camera? Here's fine. I'll fix it. Which one is it? Frogans. Okay. So, anyways, it's insane. Like it's insane. So, so the girl, the girl, uh, essentially just does this and then basically is using it to launch a right wing. Uh, political Pop. commentary career. Yeah. So that's, I'm like, that, that, that shows you right there that the right wing people are probably crazy because, you know, like all you have to do is say the N word and now you're famous and people are going to prop her up. So I don't know. I'll show you this video. This yeah, is like, see it. and this is like the, it's not the full video, but she said, we have to bleep it by the way, drafts or bleep drafts or you have to bleep this. You're going to hear a lot of slurs. She says a lot of slurs, gay slurs, N word slurs, everything. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to broke ass <laughs> um, And they don't care. We don't give a fuck about your money. 
I couldn't care less about your fucking money, okay? <laughs> the thing that makes you mad about her is the fact that it doesn't sound natural when she, she says it. She can't say it, right? No, she just doesn't. With these it, broke ass and words. It just doesn't roll off the tongue. She knows she's doing something wrong. That's she why. Knows. She knows. That's why. She's like, everybody says broke ass. I'm like, nah, dude, say it with your chest. Say it. Say it. Oh my like, don't God. be a bitch about it. You know what I'm saying? Trad wife. So she she does this like whole speech. Trad wife or thought daughter? Thought daughter. Oh yeah, thought daughter. Thought daughter. Yeah, dude. Thought daughter. So they have more of the wait, so, so, just, so then her thing? They find they find her and dox her, which they get her doxxed and they, they get her fired from her job. Yeah. What was her job? Uh, Man, how's she a trad wife if she has a fucking job? Yeah, she's a job. How is she a trad wife? Oh my, because she's a fucking grifter. She doesn't say anything that's real. Not all grifters are trads. I feel like trads is a slur. <laughs> trads is a slur. I think I feel it. Is, you know, like yeah, you, I feel like trads. What is What if a slur. I called you a little trad wife, dude? I fucking wish I was at this point. You wish you were a trad wife. Yeah, you want to be a traditional wife. St Brogan, you can't even cook a meal for yourself. Are you gonna cook a meal for? Brogan, three I've been kids to your house and, and I've asked you, what do you cook in that kitchen? You're like. I opened Brogan, your, you don't even you have like one actual, water. You don't have silverware. You have plastic I do, I forks do, and I knives. I have plastic forks and knives and silverware. Thank mm. you very much. Can I be honest? You yeah. know what's more I have, I have pastel pink plates. What's insane to me How is many? my Two? six of each. Go ahead. My fridge is more stocked than Frogan's. Yeah. That's what's insane. Yeah, to I me. don't cook and I only eat once a day. What do you eat every day? Give me a day of the week and I'll tell you. Oh, see, sometimes I think I'm like being a trad wife would be fun, but I also don't want to be dependent on anybody. You know what I mean? Even though I do have like my degree to fall back on, whatever. But at the end of the day, I feel like I'd get bored staying home all day, taking care of fucking kids. Cooking, cleaning. I'm all about equality here. OK. All about equality. Would it be nice? Sure. But I feel like it'd get fucking boring, in my opinion. Because, like, you have the idea of, like, oh, like, imagine getting to stay home all day and watching Vanderpump Rules and shit. There's only so much Vanderpump Rules you can fucking watch. Or 90 Day Fiance. I don't know. I'd get bored. I don't know what else to say. But yeah, basically, yeah, here's yeah. the thing. Also, not to toot my own horn, I feel like I'm too much of an ambitious person to be a trad wife. Is that fucked up to say? I have too many tra traditional wives don't have any ambition. <laughs> Their ambitions are like, oh, I want to have kids when I grow up. And start my own pyramid scheme business. They always start pyramid scheme business. It's like, yo, it's like, what was it like Avon fucking shampoo or what? Or like a legging company or some shit. Right. Sure. My goals in life are beyond that. She's still talking. Yeah, I'm having her van. Okay. All right. So anyways. Uh, so what I was saying about Frogan is that I don't cook. I have very little things in my kitchen to cook. Everyone makes fun of me so for that. So you want Frogan as a wife? No. Frogan is a thousand times worse than me. You don't want Frogan as a wife? No. I'm saying Frogan is worse than me. Would you like Frogan as a wife? Yeah. But she's going to cook and clean. Fuck it. She's not. That's what I'm saying. Frogan would be an awful traditional wife. Would I have to work? You'd have to cook and clean. So that'd be my only daily shit. Like not get a real job. I take it back. This is, this is already getting annoying. No, yeah, okay, no, I, I just want to be she's sure. Already, she's, she's, she's already, already asking too much. I'm already so annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I'm seriously, I'm going to be You're already nagging me. You're already nagging me about money. You're already fucking nagging me about money. Here's the thing. Bitch, I do the fucking work. I put the bread on the table. He's putting bread on the table. I was going to put bread on the table too by streaming every single day live at twitch.tv slash frogan at 8 30 p.m. Eastern, 5 30 p.m. Pacific. I don't want you to do that. I want you to cook bread and put that on the table. She just self promoted on our podcast. I know. I would be Nara Smith. Up in that bitch, if Naruto, Nara Smith, who's Nara she Smith? She like makes sh everything fucking homemade. Okay. But at this point in my life, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We're gonna pull Frogan from the wide. Okay. At this point in my life, I don't cook. I feel like if I really wanted to, I could. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to at this point. You know, my mom. My mom came up to me one time when I was younger, and she's like, "Let me teach you how to cook for your future husband and kids." And I was like, "You know what?" No, thank you. I don't want to learn. That literally turned me off from wanting to learn how to cook. Because you didn't want to do it for somebody else? Yeah, she should have said, let me teach you how to cook for you. She was being a mom. Well, the thing about women, 
is they've been put yeah, in this tell us tell us all about women. Think about the women is they've been put in this traditional role. Yeah. Were they supposed to back in the fifties cook and clean and they did the house and the man made money? Mm-hmm. And then in the eighties people were broke bitches. Mm-hmm. So then the woman had to get a job and cook and clean. So now you're doing two jobs and raise the kids. Yeah, that's too much for you guys. And then now women are have the opportunity to have their own say. But Frogan wants to throw that all out the window. And just become a streamer. Do men have a say anymore? And I want my... Yeah, I want to have a say in We don't have a say anymore. <laughs> Us men, we don't have a fucking say anymore. We need to be able to control We want to be able to control the women again. I, we need to. Or at least control our own lives. I can barely control my dog. Let yeah. Alone, let alone a human. Just, we realize that you are the problem. Why? Oh, when you left, dude, it was just me and him. And we were just... He was just sitting. The dog? Yes. Yeah, he didn't move around at all. He's been no. He's been better. He just. He's just acts up. You know who's the problem is, because she goes, me me. That's a good impression. And then literally the dog goes like, <laughs> and then she goes, why does he always do this to me? I'm like, because he thinks you're playing. <laughs> if you just did that, if you just walked you're just in, mad that nobody talks to you like that. Oh my god. Well, how would I, would I want anyone to talk? You to need me a like, trad wife to talk. All right, to right you let's like go that. back to the trad wife because we forgot. Wait, so so she so she's just going around. She gets fired. Edward and getting fired. So she wait, gets, wait, what was her job? I'm curious. She, uh, it was at this place called Rope. R O P H E. That's a that's that's leasing. I, I'm sure it's leasing. Is it leasing? Well, it has a house on it. It's OTC. Over the counter. I think it was helping Over old the people. Counter. It was helping old people. We could look it up. We'll look it up and then we'll. we'll Why add. does it have the shape of a house though? Wouldn't it be like a real? It was estate? like I think she was like assisting old people. Was she I, like a nursing oh, assistant like in a, like a retirement a, home? A, like a retirement home. I think that's what it that's was. That's why they have the R in the house. Yeah, it's oh. that or the. <laughs> bleep it. Bleep it. <laughs> See, when you say shit like that, it, it sounds good because it rolls off the tongue. Yeah, because I've been saying I've been saying bad shit since I was a child. <laughs> I think that she's I grew up in the culture. <laughs> <laughs> Racism. <laughs> okay, ready? Uh, this is the next video. She says Those this. Eyebrows aren't real. I was just gonna say her eyebrows are too far she's apart. Got a vagina neck. That's crazy. Doesn't care about you, and when your dumbass kills over in your house, the cat, your that cat that you so fucking adore, is gonna come over and start eating your face. <laughs> it's true. Base. A child's not gonna do that. Base. And then these same people, as they're like worshiping the animals, worshiping cats, worshiping their stupid dogs, pushing them around in strollers to where I think it's like, oh, you got a little kid, and then it's oh, never mind, it's your stupid dumb fucking cat. These same people, these fat asses, and they're always ugly, by the way. They're out in the street protesting because they might not be able to get their 10th abortion. Like, first of all, bitch, who's impregnating you? Second of all, that's a fucking human being. Like, do we not even care about human beings anymore? Y'all want to bitch about genocide and don't give a fuck about aborted babies. She's kind of based. She's not based. Can I be honest? You know, maybe she's kind of honest. Uh, yeah, she's like, you know what's crazy is these videos are just like the deepest micro like thoughts that we have on a daily basis. <laughs> this is like shit you like jokingly will talk to your friends about, but she's being serious and it's crazy. I, number one, you know she's grifting because she like can't keep it together. She can't keep it together. No, but I have had the same thought. Like, why the fuck is your dirty little cat in a stroller? Why would you spend money? Okay, on that, that that you can make fun of. People yeah. who like push around their cats like in a stroller is make fun of. But I'm gonna be honest. This type of person is the person who like values the way they look. Yeah. And she looked like a 95 year old because she had kids. That's what I'm saying. Like she looked old. Yeah. She, she looks looked, like she looks she like a looked both 14 Emily and 45 at the same time. Yeah. She just like looks like. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. So like if, if you're going to value, you're going to talk shit about the way people look, you're going to take it back. Exactly. I'm sorry. I don't, exactly. I, don't, I, don't, I don't talk about the way people look, but you, stupid, how do you look 14 and 45? One. You know what, what you're going to say? Her eyebrows are way too far apart. I was going to say her eyebrows are too far apart. And then also she has a vagina neck. So like what are you going to do? That's what I'm saying. Like you can't. You can't go around and make fun of the way people look when you also like when the when you have a kid it ages you. It Dude, fu- it's like that up. bitch Pearl. You know Pearl from SpongeBob. No, the she's like the. She can't help it. She's a whale. <laughs> no, she's like the right wing grifter girl. Where Pearl. She's like, look, I don't know. You don't know Pearl. Don't know Pearl. Dude, that bitch looks like Spideris from Mister Mrs. Sunny Sunny Patch Kids or whatever the fuck it's called. What the Hold fuck on. television well, just, show was what, that? Whatever you just you made that up. Whatever. That's not a real show. Whatever you just said, I just got really deep into it. Oh. While you're looking up Spidey, 
Spiderius? Spy, spy Dibbly. Spy Dibbly. Spy, spy uh, I'm going to I'm gonna, uh, show you. Yeah, this show is her, So after she... Number one, they keep doxing these people and yeah. making them lose their jobs. Yeah. Stop. Don't give them any sunlight. You're, you know her. No, I, I don't have no know idea her. who that is. Oh my god, she's literally she she does this without the slurs. Oh really? Yeah. I mean, this is the thing is like That's everyone's putting on our pedestal. It's like clearly now we know what your position is. You're just racist. Like, yeah. Your your position is what racism is cool. They're like, hey, she talks really aggressive, but I agree with most of her points. I'm like, you guys are just racist. Like, yeah, exactly. You guys are just trying to keep it all together. Now it's like cool to be racist. But anyway, so she gets people dox her, which I I don't even agree for like the right wing people. I just like ignore them. They're literally, they're literally, this is, this is a, this is an attention whore. Okay. Just ignore them. Yeah. Like, do not give them attention. Don't give them any sunlight. Just block them. This is what she does. In her so side. a recent video of mine seems to have, um, upset members of a certain community and it, this, um, all the backlash just really made me, you know, just really do a deep dive, like do a soul search. And after all that, I'm so scared. I still couldn't find a care. You're going to call us racist. You're going to call us potential Timothy McVeigh's. Fuck you. I don't know what whatever that that hypercut was. I just found a tweet to find her response. So again, she's just she's just grifting. Can we see the birth rate one? The birth rate one? I don't have the Which birth, birth rate, rate one. one? What are you I have this about? one. Let's see some, it. Another one that just says man the fuck up. Voting leftist. If you want to She's fix like, that problem, about marriage and you have to shit. wife these women up. Like we have to stop being in cells and stop, um, stop going up to girls and oh no, girls are all just bitches. Ah, uh, they're all just whores. Let's not even go and ask them out. Stop being a pussy and put a fucking ring on it. If you want to fix the, if you want to fix the voting problem, that's how you fix it, motherfuckers. Like anybody who votes leftist, they're single women with no kids and whatever. And they're jaded with life. So if you want to fix this problem, it's not trashing women and making them go further away from the conservative movement. It's by manning the fuck up and putting a ring on it. If you want to get technical, there really are no leftist candidates to vote for. Yeah, I don't know who she's talking if you about. Want to get really leftist if you who? want to get really technical with it, women are bitches. You think I'm a bitch? I think you're a trad wife. You're, you're, a, you're just a silly little trad. No, I don't think you're a bitch. No, I think I, I mean she posted this this other What is that? She put I'm sorry but black gays are more gay than white gays. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be honest with you? Do you know what she sounds like to me? <laughs> a fucking 10-year-old. <laughs> she sounds like a fucking child, dude. <laughs> it's there, insane. There was one video you played. It was like I don't think it was, it was like uh, I have a bunch queued up. She's got a lot of crazy yeah, ones. I just want you to react to them individually. Okay. Because oh they're God. I looked that up. That took me two seconds. That's insane. Dude. The, she's a grifter, dude. I she even says it. She's like, I don't even uh, 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 she has a TikTok voice too, the fucking zoomer ass TikTok voice. Like, yeah. Uh, I don't even like just to say, like, I'm like, no one's wa no one gives a fuck about you, dude. The thing is, like, people are giving her sunlight, and I'm like, just stop, just ignore her. You know what's funny? What always makes me feel good, feel a little better, is like the thought of them finishing the video wherever they're at, and then just like putting it down, and being like, hundred percent. I'm just like, dude. What Every time the someone fuck? finishes a video like that, this is what they're doing. I do the same shit. Yeah. I'm like, they record a video like, black gays are more gay than white gays. Keep it in. That's our cold open. So you, so you want to get pasta after this? Huh? That, that, yeah, I was that's, it, that. that's it. That's, that's it. Yeah, it's confusing. I used to when I uh, I used to, I saw a couple of people. They were like doing TikTok dances and stuff like that. They would prop it up in the in like my re in the restaurant I was working in. And then as soon as they were done with the dance, they would walk up and be like, "I'm like, what the fuck is just happening right now? It's insane." So yeah. Can I be honest? Sure. We're gonna watch more of these, but I I have a proposition. Okay. Brogan, you need a grift. Oh, Frogan. You need to be like, all these go Muslims are so disgusting and these Arabs and blah, blah. You need to grift. Be like, I'm yeah, one of the good Eid Arabs. Yeah, it's tomorrow, right? So It's got, actually today. Today's Eid's today. Eid. Happy Eid, everybody. Happy Eid. Allah Akbar. I think right. this one is for people that go to Hajj. The pilgrimage. Yeah, pilgr this, oh, this, yeah, 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 this yeah, is yeah, a Hajj. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it's not for everyone. My private school used to make us recreate it. The, the fucking hike? <laughs> yes. 
That's crazy. It was insane. What do you mean? Dude, so they would build it like in the mosque. So whenever you go to the pilgrimage, there's like multiple things you have to do. You do the Kaaba thing, you walk around it like seven times. Mm -hmm. And then there's like mountains. I think they're called like Safa and Marwa. And like you have to like walk between those seven times. So they would like build that shit. In the school. In the school? Mm-hmm. How big is this fucking mosque? It was huge. It was like in the banquet hall area. You never uh, had to do anything like that shit. You went to Jewish school. Did you have to do anything no, like that? No, dude. I went to public school. Oh, but didn't you do like, didn't you go to like temple? No. Oh. And we'd always get in trouble because we'd fuck around during it because we did not care. Yeah, why would you? Some people took it dude, seriously. I didn't. We had to, I had to do this. I had to do the, the, the resurrection of Jesus and, I, and someone had to be a rock. Is that why you have those weird scars on your hand? No, I didn't. <laughs> crucify myself well then what did you do the dog bit me oh no i mean like what'd you do how do you recreate the christ, 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 christ i'm jesus. jesus and i'm coming back <laughs> and then no, someone, is, <laughs> you're planning the resurrection <laughs> yeah. did, did they have you be jesus since you're the only palestinian at the no, school no they did not they had me be a fucking guard or some shit dude <laughs> they had the whitest guy be jesus because that's what they thought jesus looks like dude they had like one of my friends who's like you're jesus that's exactly i'm like no dog i'm G- i'm from palestine that's where jesus is from yeah my mom used to do an interpret interpret this like christmas show every year at this church and they would it was like they would at the end they would do like the story of jesus and it was a musical and then, like, the, remember, always remember the last scene being Jesus literally bloodied. This white guy was bloodied up with crown of thorns, carrying a cross down the fucking aisles onto the stage. And then there's, like, animals and shit, like, live animals. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> that's crazy. That yeah, sounds actually kind of tight. I want to watch it. I'll be honest. You th- looking back on it, I'm like, that's a solid production. That I was, was going to say, we, if we did shrooms and watch that, we'd be No, like, I'd freak the fuck out. Yeah, we should, tight. though. We should go we should do, do that. that. I, never Florida. Do that. I don't think they do it anymore, though. Yeah. That's kind of sad. Um, I want to watch this next one. This yeah, is, what's this? I, think this? I don't. I didn't see it, but this no, is. No, that looks like somebody talking about it. Someone talking about it, but basically this person's like. I agree. This person's like, she's I. Based. Thank you for finally saying the N word. Yeah. She's We've like, been oppressed. Here's the thing. Here's, before we start it, we, whenever you judge somebody, you have to look at their eyebrows. And that's basically telling them to take their butt to I have. don't have to do anything. Okay. I'm not, you know what? You don't have to do I it. I think I agree with you on the eyebrow thing, though. If somebody has shitty eyebrows, the likelihood of them having a good take is slim to none. I agree with that. I actually. agree. Okay. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to broke ass. People are loving this, and people are hating it. Everybody I know who's married. That was it? <laughs> was people that are it? loving it, and people are- People are loving it, and people are hating it. Who's loving it? Bro, whoever is loving someone saying the N-word is just racist. Yo, we need and this, this we, how we sing. <laughs> <laughs> we need this picture for our group chat. This, I, is, honestly, <laughs> this is insane. I'm not- Listen, I don't know. Blow that up. <laughs> no, like blow it up, like print it out and blow it up so we can have posters. We'll of it. put it here. We'll put it here in the in the studio. <laughs> in this house, can I, say gay can I? It's crazy. That's crazy. It's cra- bleep that out. Joseph. Oh, and then the last one. Yeah. <laughs> I did the last one. You know what's crazy? That's insane. Dude. What's crazy about this? What's crazy about this is that she posts this, but in Florida, there's a don't say gay bill. So is she telling her kids about gay people? Is she from Florida? No, I don't know, but that. They don't make any sense, these people. Uh, well, I'm saying like, I'm saying like, well, no, I'm saying like these people that, that they hate gay people, but they don't want to say gay, but in their house they're saying gay. They're bashing them, yeah. Oh, okay. When I was in don't the third grade, don't say gay means is is a rule that Florida passed for teachers not able to say or teach homosexuality. Well, in she's their, teaching in them by schools. saying gay. In Florida, they can't wear these socks. That's gay. Yeah, you guys got me a gay cake. We did get you oh, a gay yeah. cake. We only had we had dude. One of my cousins options. came up to me. I'm not yeah. gonna I'm not gonna disclose who it was. They were like, "Why is your cake gay?" I was like, "Oh, I, I can't I can already take a guess of who it fucking was." Was it? Was no, it? no, it was not. It was not that person. It was someone you guys don't know very well. And they were like, oh, "Why the doesn't one? your cake have boobs on it?" And I was like, "I don't I don't what know." What is this a bachelorette fucking party? And they were what like, "What do you do? Would you rather see fucking?" Icing tits instead of real ones. <laughs> what am I gonna fucking do? I'm gonna put fucking icing tits on your fucking cake? And they're like, "That's weird." And I was like, "Bro, I thought you just say." I, can I be honest? When icing someone tits says, is gayer than when someone rainbow. asks me, "Why do you have a gay cake?" You're gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're if gay. you're that bothered by a rainbow one, so Raf and I got. I didn't get to have any of that cheesecake. I just remembered. Cheesecake I didn't was either. so good. Dude. Was it? I didn't either. 
Cheesecake Damn. was good. You For, dropped half Was it store-bought cheesecake? I dropped two slices. Yeah, Dropped it was Costco. Cheese. We got it at Costco. It was fucking good, dude. Yeah, they make some good cakes. So there was one with berries on it, but we didn't know if you'd like it because it was mixed yeah, it berries. Yeah, it was just berries all over it. I like it. I mixed like berries, no, though. No, no, it was mixed berries. It's like like a, raspberries and I got one. I got one with mixed berries in my fridge right now, actually. For my birthday. Well, we fucked Stop. up. Stop. What? He's being a fucking... What is this? He's uh, doing... He's stimming right now. Are you stimming? I'm stem maxing. Stim, dude, I'm stem maxing right now. Okay, so so yeah, she's 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 be on. Bleep that out. <laughs> stop. We need a our our, our counter. No, stop. She's being her worst enemy. So, anyways, <laughs> Jake Shields, who's been all pro pro Palestine yeah. all the time that we've been calling him out. He's like a fighter. His brain don't work good because he got hit in it. He basically put, I'm glad I don't have a boss because she got fired and then they, they published it because he can say the N word, the F slur and the R word whenever I want. Wait, who said that? Jake Lucky? Jake Shields. Shields? Jake Shields is a fighter that's like a right wing grifter, but he's been grifting the Palestinian genocide every day. He grifts the genocide and what people mean, have been putting like, him on. Like he's to, been pro Palestinian. To... Oh. And I'm like, we don't want you. He's yeah. like another, uh, what's that other guy? Jackson Hinkle. Jackson Hinkle. Yeah. So he literally guys. just goes, oh yeah. I'm like, okay, okay, bro, you're pro Palestinian, but you're going to be anti black, gay, and it, like, come yeah, on. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It's fucking... because they're fucking Nazis. I'm about Nazis. all the minorities, dude, except for crab people. I don't fuck with crap. I don't people. fuck with crap people. She put so this is how I know this is how we know she's a grifter. She's so dumb. She literally just admits she's grifting. But the, her community is even dumber because I don't know, like three thousand people like that. But thanks to the black community for helping me launch my new career in conservative media, you all played the role like the puppets you are. Heart. Yeah, she just admitted to grifting. using yeah grifting. It's disgusting. So I'm like, just block this person. Like, don't give them any sunlight. So what's the solution? So there's no solution, dude. When you see like, someone like this pop up, just block them. Like, you know what I'm saying? The solution is just block her. What was she, just on a podcast or something? Yeah, she's just a grifter. Is that Kaisa Knott's house? What is that? No, she's literally hanging out with Sneeko. And this is the new oh. right. The new right. Oh, dude, speaking of Sneeko, that guy got his fucking shit rocked the other day. Everyone's getting hit in the dude, face for I taking off it. hats. I'm loving it. Finally, dude. What? What is this? <laughs> don't touch my fucking hat. Don't touch her hats. Well, what did you do? Why did you touch his hat? She's like, uh, she's like, don't touch my hat. Dude. Don't you touch, don't touch hat. your dude's no, hat. There's a reason why he's wearing hat. the hat. He's hiding something. Are you trying to get hit like Sneeko? Yeah. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> fucking dumbass. Fucking. <laughs> get back in the kitchen, Traddy. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Traddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Can I, can I watch this one? This yeah, is the one yeah that's what I wanted. Watch. This is the one that Frogan wanted to watch. You're not going to get knocked Fuck. up. You're a loser. Bro, again, dude. She's sunburned. She, what is how this? does she look 45 and 14? Yeah. Hey, America. Hey, people <laughs> not having kids. You are some stupid motherfuckers out there. The birth rate is declining. And what are you doing? You're getting married. Like, why even bother fucking getting married, you loser? You're getting married. <laughs> you have some fucking dog in a stroller like a f <laughs> And then what are, then what are you doing? <laughs> That's insane! Oh my god. That's dude. insane! It's so crazy. Oh, do we need to reset the cams? Not no, yet. we're okay. Okay. So she's talking about birth rate. That was my favorite thing to study in grad school. Okay, let me finish this and then you have to you have to have give your guess your take on the birth rate. Okay. How are you helping America? We're letting we're letting the birth rates decline, and I'm speaking particularly to white people. So today I want you to take the Oh, time she's coming after y'all now. <laughs> Hey, we're, we're good, dude. <laughs> we're solid, we're good, dude. dude. We got, we're good. It's only the gays and the blacks and the whites, dude. Yeah, yeah. No we're errors. Solid. Dude, we're good, She's dude. good. We're good. We're good. We're solid. God <laughs> damn it. Because us girls getting knocked up, we're the only ones helping with the declining birth rate. You're welcome, America. You're fucking welcome. God. Apparently, she has a mixed kid. There you go. What race, though? Black. Yeah, dude. Come on now. Allegedly. Oh. That's what I heard. I don't think that's true. It doesn't true. matter if she has a mixed kid. It doesn't matter. So. But it also, it hurts more. Like, don't do that. <laughs> Dude, imagine seeing your mom's videos like in the future. You're like, oh, you used to do oh, shit like what that. The fuck, mom. Especially with her Zoomer kids. Oh yeah. my god. No, they're Gen Alpha. Wait, we're going to A's now. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're in A. Jesus Christ. So birth rate was my favorite. Th one of my favorite subjects in school. Fertility economics. Yeah, yeah. The cost of getting pregnant. Yeah. So basically, uh, I think America's at like 1.7 uh, kids per births per woman. Oh. 
I was going to say 1.7 kids. I'm like, what's the 0.7 of a yeah, kid? Yeah, so it needs to be two because two. Is that a kid with no legs? No, it's be. We're supposed no, to get two. Because can I be honest? No, no, no. Don't get mad at him because I also interrupted. What? What? It's oh. obviously it's the average. Got you. What? What? One one point. I was going to give a 0. 0.7. Okay, but. It's fine. I'm not going to do it. I was going to say it's one male, one you female. Should've, you should have fucking cut him off. I'm sorry for it's that. It's one, one male, one female, brother. I apologize. No, I'm not doing that. You should have. I apologize, on the but I cut you off. I, I was doing alpha males, too. though. Hmm? I was saying the 75% percent Also, the reason woman. why we're not having kids is because we can't fucking afford it now. Exactly. That's the, the tangent I was about to go on. Because go ahead, this is a, this yeah, is a public health issue. I know you were going to say something very important, but I also wanted to interrupt this. You always fucking interrupt me. Don't act like you care about whether or not it's important. You're getting all sad and real shit right now. He's not Be getting fuck- sad. Look at his face. Look, yeah, look at his face. I don't know what, what the fuck to even call that face. Patience. Fake concern? Fake concern? Yeah. I, no, I am concerned. Go on. I can't look at him. Anyways, so yeah, fertility economics, you're supposed to be at two. So basically, as a couple, you're supposed to have two kids. Because it's replacing you and your partner. That makes sense. Minimum. So that makes sense. In America, we're under two. We're at one point seven, which is why China got rid of the two, uh, the one child policy, made it two. Yeah, because they realized, oh fuck. <laughs> because in tw- yeah, in twenty fifty, it's uh, projected that their social security system is going to be absolutely fucked because the working class is going to be significantly smaller than the elderly who's benefiting from the social security who won't right. have it adequately funded, and like the younger kids. So the reason why people aren't having kids nowadays is because money, jobs, degrees, and some people just don't want to have kids. And kids are getting, uh, people are having kids later. So I think the uh, average age of first birth for women in America is 27 years old. So typically yeah. people are starting to have kids around 27. That's still that young. Sense. But when you look at the birthing charts, people are having kids more into their 30s and even into their 40s now. My friend had a kid and he's 42. Women. Damn, he's got that old man sperm. He's got old man. He's yeah. like, Damn, he's like I, I got a kid. I was like, oh yeah, how old's your kid? Is there any way we can like make bionic sperm so that like our sperm doesn't like age rapidly like we Just do? Just freeze it. Put it in the it's freezer. So expensive. I've been freezing my stuff for years. Is that why your fucking ice taste away does? You fucking Ew. sicko. <laughs> Garlic Parmesan sperm, dude. That's crazy. Ew. I didn't realize you were Italian, dude. That's crazy. What are you high-fiving here? Sperm. <laughs> you reached out. Sperm, dude. <laughs> Come on. Men. <laughs> for sperm, dude. Ugh. You don't got that. I have eggs. Yeah. I have a good I have a good idea for a video game. Let's hear it. Dick City. Dick City? You're making Frogan eat her microphone again. It's because we have to go back to Frogan's topic. I just ADD'd with the video game idea. But you didn't come up with an idea. You just said Dick City. That's not an idea. That's Everything, just the name of it would pop off though. Dick City? You play as Robin, man. You play as I want to talk you about play the, as Robin Hood. I'm just Robin? saying. No, you play as Robin. What am I thinking? Robin, man. Who am I? We have to talk about Frogan's topic. I just had an ADD thought. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> okay. Anyways, wait, Frogan, you can't get up. I'll do it. I'll no, do it. She's she were good. We're good. So basically, yeah. I mean, what else do we have to fucking say, dude? She's grifting. And she's she's hor- I, a horrible person. Can I tell you? Can I tell you what it is? Yeah. So. In my opinion, number one, uh, number one. In my opinion, I, can, you, can you hand me the ice? Why? What are you gonna no, do? Because it's gonna it? it's gonna condensate on the couch. Just put it on the put it in the tr- put it in the trash can. Condensate. It's gonna condensate. It's gonna condensate. Dick city. Gonna condensate. Okay. Dick city gonna condensate. Every whole city made of dicks. Dude, yeah. That's the gayest thought you've ever had in my life. In not your bad, life, dude. It's it's not bad. It's pretty good. In this house, we say gay. In this house, we say gay. <laughs> uh, um, oh my god! No. So what ended up happening is that hater. The reason why number one for social media has become like more and more saturated, so people are saying more and more extreme things to get attention. So this is just a case of attention, right? Dude, imagine the attention I would get if I actually said something like inflammatory. Yeah, you would literally be famous overnight. Oh my you god! You would be famous overnight. You, the, the thing is, you can tell you're not a grifter because overnight, all you'd have to do is say slurs and cuss out Arabs, and you would be a millionaire. That's what she's doing. Yeah, 
That's what these guys are doing. I think the genocide in Palestine is based. Yeah, you Israel would pay you to do that. Are you poor enough yet? I am. I might do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we're going to be scrolling through TikTok and there's going to be birthright ads from one from me and then the next one. Is I really love it here. Can we film those and put them in the, in the birthright ads? Yeah. yeah. Dude, James from Big Time Rush had a, had a sponsor from Israel on TikTok for a birthright like during the genocide. So He, he went to birthright. He can say it. He's like, it wasn't that bad. I love birthright. Actually. We didn't kill that many kids. You I know? fell asleep during the history part. Did you? <laughs> yeah, there was one. There was one section where they just sat us down and we had a, a lecture about the history of Israel, and I fell asleep. They started from thirty years ago. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically, basically. They're like the minute we kicked out Capri's grandmother, that's when the history started. Yeah. Yo, listen up. Here's a story about a little blue country in the Arab world. <laughs> And this all, is actually a nice moment because you guys don't ever like vibe like this. <laughs> and all day, and all day, and everything he sees is just Jew like him inside, inside and outside. outside. Jew in the house and, and Jew, Jew little window. And Jew with Jew a Jew <laughs> <laughs> You know what's crazy? We were at the kibbutz and uh, they would have like, you know, like a spread of food. You go and you like grab as much food. I remember like getting labne and I remember getting hummus and I remember thinking how awful it tasted. <laughs> I, I can't imagine that their food tastes anything like Arabic food. They have a food. They called it schnitzel. And I was like, that's not German, right? That's like German Polish. Yeah. It's just fried chicken with sesame seeds on it. Oh, why did I think it was like Ugh. a pastry or something? Was it schnitzel? Food there? Schnitzel is a fucking is, is like a sausage, to, isn't it? it? Compared to Lebanon, yeah, it's just sausage. But this wasn't a sausage; it was just fucking fried chicken. It was weird. Mm. They don't have culture; they're just making shit up. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of not having culture, this is a great segue. Uh, yeah. These videos have been popping up on my feed with all the Arabs who are responding to it. Yeah. And they're taking over a bunch of stuff. But the craziest one to me is they're taking the word "yellow" from us. Yeah, I know. That one is. I want to show this video because it, it's crazy. It, just, just go for it. Here are five Israeli slang words you need to know when you're in Israel. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get a lot of white girl who doesn't have an, an Arab Yellow accent tell me how to fucking say words. It, it means, let's go, hurry up, sofash, short for sofash. Sofash is, Jew, is Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But yalla. Yalla is not slang. Yeah, it's. Did people use yalla in, in Israel? Yeah. But Jewish people, like I'm yeah, asking. Yeah, they used yalla. But, they, but it's it comes Arabic from word. Arabic. Yeah. And it's because they've been surrounded by Arabs. Yeah. Yalla. Did you hear one go off? Keep talking. I don't think so. I didn't hear it. I didn't crazy. hear it either. Going He's going crazy, guys. You have, P you have PTSDs. Go insane. This go is from insane. Birthright Israel, by the way. That one is crazy. Wait, are there any other words that they used that were Arabic or the rest No, just there like was a actual... couple like where they did a bunch of other, like this is from Birthright Israel. And they did a couple other, but everyone's like making fun of them because they're just like, yella. One of the girls, I found a video and I can't. <gasps> Ew, it's James. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Well, Why does it look like Noah, we love you. You are the heart of our nation right now. Noah, oh, no. I just want to send you this message and say, welcome home. Welcome Who's Noah? Home, Noah? Oh, one of the hostages. They're sending him a video to be like, welcome home. Dude, imagine the survivor's guilt you'll have being one of the four out of a hundred people. Like, imagine if I, if I survived, right, getting rescued, <laughs> if I survived getting rescued, it, and I was, I was one of four out of 150 people, I would be like, dude, was this guy, why, why me? What the fuck happened here? Was this the guy rescued? Like, so Where they killed 250 yeah. people. Two hundred fifty. Yeah, they like bombed the refugee camp. And yeah, killed. yeah, 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 yeah. They bombed the refugee camp, pulled in on on their dead bodies, and then grabbed four people. And then they were like, "Why are you not excited that the hostages are free?" I'm like, "I'm excited the hostages are free, but you killed two hundred fifty people, including forty percent of those are kids." Yeah, it's insane. It's not. It's not good, dude. It's insane. But the thing is, Yella, that's not the only video. There's another guy that goes around in Israel, and goes, "What's the most Israeli sound?" And then they're like, "Yella," and I'm like. Which is crazy because you would think you would think Israelis would be like Sababa. They, which they, is, they, they say that. 
But yeah. um, you would think that's like the word, the word that they use. Do they use that a lot? What does that mean? That was like the whole thing. It was like sababa means like good or good times. I think that's an Arabic word too. I think dude. it's an Arabic word as well. But I, it, I think it does come from Hebrew, um, old Hebrew. Yeah, but we use a lot of that stuff because we were still there the entire time. Yeah, dude. I I know. So they did Pe- that. Yeah. There's pe- a lot. Yeah. Sorry. Dude, no, yeah, go no, no, no. Go. It's fine. I mean, like people, people equate religion to being the first form of language it's not dude all this language was there before religious texts were even made so you're like so so a lot of this stuff uh f- first of all yalla comes from the word ya allah yeah so they're saying the god you yeah. know so like oh, like it's almost like a god willing like let's go god willing you know but the other thing is a lot of it comes from canaanite which was the people who were there before hebrews or arabs right. you know and the canaanites were who i that's if you trace my blood and your guys's blood it goes back to cana and a lot of the the names of the towns like Bethlehem, Beit Lahem, Bethlehem in Arabic is Beit House of Meat Lahem. Ew. Yeah, Beit Lahem. You not know that? Beit Lahem. House of the Lamb. And Jerusalem, they don't call it Jerusalem. They call it the 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 city. But there's a name for it in Arabic, but they don't call it Jerusalem. Uh, Beit Lahem. But actually, in 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 uh, oh, what the fuck? That's my dad. In uh in uh Arabic or in uh in Canaanite. Uh, or in the Bible or whatever, the Torah, whatever the fuck you want to call it, they would call Bethlehem House of Bread. Yeah. But in Arabic, it's House of Meat, so I never knew why it was called House of Bread. It's because the people that were there before us, in their language, Laham was bread. It wasn't meat. So the Canaanites named it House of Bread, and that's how it like stuck mm-hmm. around. There's a mm-hmm. lot of shit like people just don't know. Like it's like it's a very complicated history. And before that, there was fucking Neanderthal there. Like you know, like yeah, they probably they probably named it House of like ooh. I have a confession. Huh. I have less than 2% of Neanderthal DNA. I have a lot of Neanderthal DNA. Yeah, no, they test that. you on 23 and me. Yeah, I have a lot. You have you a have lot? 2%? How much Neanderthal do you have? A lot. It says I have more Neanderthal DNA than like 44% of users or some shit, I think. I'm like 90%. Is that good or bad? They don't know anything about y'all's foreheads. Here's the difference. My forehead is normal. <laughs> I have a big forehead. <laughs> Ooh, I bet ooga, if ooga, ooga. I bet if you took it, you <laughs> can I be honest? Yeah, we don't know that much about Neanderthal. They could have been smarter than regular humans. Dude, I guarantee That's true. you. You know how I told you guys that apparently I have like Olympian. They invented the wheel. I have like Olympian level muscle allegedly mm-hmm. to my DNA test. Mm-hmm. That comes from Neanderthal. I attribute it to that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, speaking of inventions, uh, Israel also invented <laughs> something very fantastic. What did they make? Oh my god, this is this is but my the... favorite video of the week. This is my favorite video of the week. No way. The watermelon originates from Israel and they're trying to take it as their own. So that's why we're, we're bringing it back to where it belongs. Are, are you aware that it's, it's, they use their symbol as well? Yes. They use it as a hate symbol. We always use our symbols as love symbols. So the key, what does it mean? The key represents the key to my grandmother's house in Algeria and my grandparents' house in Egypt. That shit blew my mind. It's like you're talking about how you belong to Israel, but your grandparents got their houses taken away from Algeria and Egypt. The watermelon is from Israel, isn't it? (laughs) Dude, I saw... They grow them there! I saw a TikTok, like, Israel invented the seedless watermelon. That's Japanese! The, I think the Japanese. The Japanese this. did it. Oh fucking no, dude. That's crazy, dude. The yeah, watermelon thing from Israel insane. is insane. You know what it is? It's because they're losing so bad. They're just trying to cling on to whatever they possibly. They can. are such culture vultures. Yeah, like the worst. They literally have no culture. They're like the watermelon been ours for years. Where do you think they got the idea for the watermelon? In <laughs> Israel, <laughs> we have you ever seen a watermelon? <laughs> it's a watermelon. Yeah. Inside a watermelon. We did the watermelon. We also did the sky and we did uh, the tides. There everything we... that's blue. The only thing the Israelis stole from us are Arabs claiming that they invented everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. It's like math. <laughs> we did math. The we... Israels. We did math. The Israelis look at us. They're like, oh my God, they could just say they invented everything. We'll do the same thing. Yeah, we'll do the same thing. We'll we'll did did you know Keanu Reeves? Lebanese. I used to fuck him. How baby. long until Israelis start saying they invented the number system? Soon. soon, soon. 
The it's, watermelon is ready. You know Roman numerals? We invented that. <laughs> One of my favorite TikToks, I didn't, I didn't pull it up, but it was a girl who goes, I have a question. Uh, why is every time I ask people uh, where you tell people where you're from in Israel, uh, they go, and I say Chicago, they go, no, where are you from? And then I have to say Tel Aviv. Why do I do that? And I'm like, because none of you are from Israel. Right. And you're trying to claim you're from Israel, but you're not fucking from Israel. I was like, I are was, we talking about people who pledge Aliyah? No, it was like an, yeah, it was like an ax, an accidental like slip up that like all Israelis are not from Israel. Right. It was insane, dude. I watched it. I was like dying. It was like one of my favorite like Israeli TikToks. Where are you from? Chicago. She's like, why do people get mad at me when I say like I'm from Chicago when people ask me? And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, there is this one I watched. This one's also crazy. There is the one video going is around. At Israel for fighting a war, it did not start. For defending itself against terrorism. Meanwhile, they're not really outraged at Hamas exploiting the Gaza infrastructure by using schools, refugee camps, hospitals, UN. This wasn't the one I saw, but it's literally that one's insane. I saw a video of Israelites or Israelis rather, not Israelites. Those are different. Israelis uh, remaking the kafia. To be uh, blue and white. Dude, Yo, I saw that. That one pissed no me off. No way. You didn't see that? No. Dude, it was a woman or somebody, and they were, like, making... They had kafias, but they were they were blue and white to represent Israel. Dude, you know that you're on the wrong side of history when all you're doing is stealing the people resisting you. Yeah. You know, like, you're like, these people are so disgusting. We are going to take their hummus. We're also going to take their kafia. We're going to take the watermelon. We're also going to take... Dude, they made the song, and Adem Filastini, and then they were like... They made a song like "My Blood Is Israeli" instead of like "My Blood Is Palestinian." My blood. They stole our song. So how come Israelis can't do fucking Twenty Three and Me? Yeah, they're not allowed to. They're not legally allowed to do Twenty Three and Me. That's oh, really? Yeah, they're not yeah, allowed because they're not from Israel. Or they were banned in Israel. I yeah. saw certain content creators do it. Yeah, and they're not from Israel. No. But when I do my DNA, I'm like a hundred. Drafts or put it up. Put my DNA up. I'm a hundred percent from Palestine. Hey, now zoom in on Neanderthal. I want to see that. No. Giraffe put mine up too. Yeah, zoom in on Neanderthal on her too. Y you've got you've got that uh I don't do 23 and me because I get I, I understand it. I know where I'm from. Oh, I was I reacted to this one. This one was insane too. This lady is like, this is my favorite. I stand with Israel. Watch. I will. I'm just gonna leave this here, okay? Because at this point, this is going too crazy. There's either a right or a wrong. This right here should tell you everything you need to know. Is that a uterus? About what your is that? Own brothers and sisters, okay? I can't All see that. Is that a map? Anymore. It's Egypt. Oh. You don't got thank room. Thank you. You're welcome. It says Egypt doesn't have any room for the people of Gaza to like go there. And this girl's like, this could tell you everything about your brothers and sisters. They won't take you in Egypt, which is crazy. If you know anything about World War II, there was actually the same exact thing was employed against the Jews. They would say the Jews, nobody wants to take them. Because a bunch of countries said no, they don't want to take them. Dude, my grandpa dead ass saw the fucking boat pull up to Palestine. That's crazy. Most out of my grandma, but yeah. that's crazy. You know, they you know Palestine was one of the only countries that took the Jews in after World War II. Like let them come in. And this is how we got repaired. Yeah. Ne that's why no more immigration. I'm pro anti immigration. Yeah. I'm done with it. Yeah. We're never no gonna, more immigrants. No more no immigrants. No more immigrants. You never know no how they're gonna start immigrants. an ethno state in your country. Yeah, exactly. We let too we let too many I'm only letting atheist immigrants come into the country now. <laughs> no, what kind? They'll start an atheist ethno state. Oh okay, not ag agnostic then. I let three blue people in my house. They start an ethno state. Yo, listen up. Here's the story. I'm not a little blue ethno state. Dude. Yeah, not man. Jewish people. I mean, like blue, actual blue people. This is this this is fucking crazy, dude. You know what else is crazy, huh, dude? Did you see that? So there's a video going around of Chris Brown at oh. a concert. I don't know where the concert was. Well, just watch this video. Just watch. The video. I, I I didn't watch it before the pod. You no, told just, me about just it. Just watch it. Just watch it. He looked like he looked like bye bye bye. <laughs> Yo, Chris Brown deserves this and more. <laughs> I still love Chris Brown. Hey, Rihanna beating. <laughs> well, he's just stuck there, dude. <laughs> Imagine just being stuck there. <laughs> you look like 
<laughs> Pinocchio, dude. Dude, man, he's just stuck there. And then, you know, he's singing, and then he's also screaming at yeah, the people. Yeah, he's like, hey, get me the fuck down. And he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Get <laughs> me down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to put it inside you. Get me down. <laughs> Keep playing it. <laughs> this is a shorter video. The longer video is so much funnier. You only got a ladder. Yo, Dude. you remember that one kid that got smashed by the TV at a concert? I do remember that, it was yeah. So fucked up. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, he's just. He's trying to take off his. And the dancers. I love the dancers. Dude, what are they I like doing? how they're still continuing they're just, the They just keep dancing. Routine. And then look, he screams at them. Yo, I wouldn't want to be the bear. Here comes I, like, I like how this TikTok says yeah. he got stuck and went full Christopher Maurice Brown. What do you mean? Like, did he beat him? Yeah. That, dude, that's what I was like. Yeah. I was like, like, I wonder who he beat backstage. <laughs> who was his next victim? You remember when he uh, when he was apologizing and he went on with a fucking like Easter ass bow tie on like Larry King to apologize? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, yeah. everyone's like, dude, this dude dressed up for Easter to apologize for fucking. <laughs> dude, I used to love him in like 2005. Really? Yeah. Dude, it's just so funny. Imagine just being hung up there. <laughs> You're just dangling, dude. I don't need you, boo. You're ragdolling oh. it. Yeah, bro, that's what they call it these days. They, they call ragdolling it. They had that motherfucker like a puppet. What is happening? I have, um, to, I have to be really bad. You guys can continue the podcast. Okay, goodbye. Go pee. Ew, you're so fucking gross. Yeah, I'm rubbing it on my pants. No, you licked your fingers and then rubbed it on his hands. Yeah. There's nothing left. <sighs> He's just drying his, drying his fingers off. No, there's nothing on it. We're not having a Patreon episode this week. Yeah, yeah, we are. You don't want to? No. We didn't have one last week. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat food. Okay, well, I have 10, I'll ten, figure out. ten okay. minutes of Patreon content. We'll, we'll, I'll figure something out this week. I'll, I'll I'll get it done. Rogan's leaving, so uh, the Patreon this week is going to be, uh, it's going to be. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> the Patreon this this week is gonna not gonna come in the form of a longer video for the podcast, but maybe we can get some of the deleted scenes footage from the first twenty minutes of it. We'll put that on Patreon for you guys, so you can see that it's kind of the same stuff we went through. That'd be great, and then we'll put that up there, and then we'll also have some extra stuff coming this week for the Patreon as well. Remember, guys. We say gay in this house. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Also, if you made it to the end, comment to the end. That's actually my favorite comment to read. I made it Why? to the end. Because it means that people like really fuck But what if they it. just say that in the beginning? What if they see they other don't... people commenting it and then they just post it? Yeah. What if they're just grifters? If you made it to the end, but you're not <laughs> grifting, say, I made it to the end. I'm not a grifter because I saw it. I didn't see it from someone else. I commented myself and then say... What was your favorite part of the episode after that? Yeah. Also, did you like the way my voice sounded? I'm thinking about keeping it this way for future episodes. No, I didn't. And remember, thank you for being an, an Allah. Keep your friends <laughs> close. Keep your enemies close. We don't have a, we don't have an ending tag, do we? Wallahi. That's a beginning tag. We're what not if, doing what that we again. Do? We should well, do an ending well, tag. Goodbye, her babies. No. No. No, we need an end tag. My really bun is falling out. Put it in the comments below if you see this at the end and you're not cheating or grifting. Put it in the video. And if I, if I, put <laughs> a good end tag for and us. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good morning, and good night. No, isn't that from a uh, Truman Show? Made it up. <laughs> no, you didn't. That came from something. I made it up. So Sad Boys is like, we love you and we're sorry. That's cringe, dude. <laughs> it's cringe. But they love you and they're sorry. I'm not sorry. We love you. Baby, I'm sorry. And we're never sorry. We never apologize. That's right. See you later, tratties. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. All right. Thank you, guys. Bro, I, I love I'm sad just, voices. I'm just looking at Chris Brown going like. Screaming? No, look, look at that. He's just, yeah, that's the last thing you see before he beats your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome back, babies. It's another episode of the A-Raps podcast. Let's this, go. This week I lost my voice just to yeah. see what it feels like.